Betty. Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful porcelain dial Seiko Persage. This is the SPB445 and this is in the Craftsmanship series and this has the beautiful uh, porcelain Hakuji white dial. This one goes for $1,900. It's available right now at ArizonaFineTime.com. It's in stock now. Contact those guys if you are interested. Now, this one is, is simply, simply beautiful. It houses um, a 72-hour power reserve, 6R5, uh, 6R5H. That is a no-date, 24-hour, small um, sub-dial movement. One thing I like about this movement, if you pull the crown out once, it hacks the watch, and you can set it. Now, that 24-hour counter... At six o'clock, I like to use that as a day night indicator because um, it does break it down on the military time scale. And this one is really cool. But while we're in close, look at the beautifully done up chemically blued hands on here. Look at that. Reflecting off that gorgeous porcelain dial. You have an automatic three day power reserve. And look at the inside of the indices where you have that pie crust crimping, that is fantastic. Look at that. It is almost like it's just milk being disturbed by a small drop and rippling out. It is just beautiful. The dial is perfection, and Seiko does include the best dials of any watch manufacturer, in my opinion. Look how those indices are painted on. Oh, my goodness. It is so beautiful. You have to behold this watch uh, in, 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 her, in person just to know how nice it is. Now, this is a 40.6 millimeter case. The lug to lug is 49.1, and the thickness is a scant 12.5, including this beautiful sapphire crystal that has anti-reflective coating on the inside. Now, the back, you get a Hardlex mineral crystal screw-down crown with a gold tone rotor with Tokyo striping. For the crown, you have that crown um, style, beautifully done up knurling, and that classic Seiko S. I really like that. Five-link bracelet. Twin trigger deployant. Signed Seiko. That's just plastic on there because the watch is new. And you also get a fully, you know, these strings are on the way. You also get a fully milled clasp. And this is just a tag that shows you craftsmanship, who put it together. Narada series porcelain. I can't read those kanjis. Sorry, I don't do Japanese. But this watch is very, very beautiful. Now, the lug spacing is a 20 millimeter and it does taper down. So you'll be able to affix this with a leather strap and it'll look equally as beautiful. You have 4800 AM uh, magnetic resistance. It weighs 150 grams unsized, so it's a pretty good weight. Some of that weight is because of that very nice porcelain dial. And Seiko's bracelets are getting better and better, by the way. I meant to mention that, too. They are getting better and better. What else about this one? Um, besides the 72-hour power, uh, power reserve, uh, three days, 24 joule movement, uh, plus 25 to minus 15 seconds a day in accuracy. So that will be suffice. Seiko watches run tighter than that. By saying tighter, they run better than that. They just use a wide range, um, but it, they, they always run better than that. Now, this one has no loom, and the case 
is done up with Seiko's super hard coating to prevent scratches. So you always get this beautiful look. Now I'm going to try this on. <clears throat> my wrist is 7.25 inches. Today I'm walking my uh, Omega Seamaster. It's one of my favorite watches. This is what it looks like on my wrist. My wrist is 7.25 inches. Look at that. That is perfection. That'll slip under a dress cuff. That is what you want if you want to make a statement when you're going out. This is a conversation piece. It's also a beautiful piece, and I like it. So let me know what you guys think about this one. It's available right now at ArizonaFontown.com. It's the Seiko Passage Craftsmanship Series Arata Porcelain Dial SPB445. My name is Biggie. That's the watch once over for today. Please subscribe. God bless. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.